In 2015, India's Environment Minister announced the passing of a bill that would allow us to spend 41,000 crore to increase the forest cover in our country. The reason for this plan of action? Sinking carbon. One of the things India has promised to do is to get rid of 2.5 billion tons of carbon by creating carbon sinks. These naturally occurring deposits that absorb carbon from the atmosphere. The way this happens is actually pretty simple. Remember studying photosynthesis? Well, imagine thousands of photosynthetic organisms huddled together just doing their thing. They could suck in so much of the carbon emitted by human activities. It's nature's way of creating a balance. Oceans are currently the largest active carbon sinks on Earth. But there's a problem. If oceans absorb too much carbon, it causes acidification. That's why reefs that used to look like this now look like this. Obviously, we can't let this continue. That leaves us with the second best natural carbon sinks on Earth. Forests, the star player of Team COP21. At COP21, all the major participants agreed that more forests would help keep CO2 levels down, which would in turn help control climate change. India agreed to and that's how this came into being. But it's not all rainbows and butterflies. I mean, just look at the numbers we are aiming for. Firstly, even though the fund is to be collected by charging private companies a fee to set up projects on forest land, 41,000 crore is still a lot of money for a developing country to use on planting trees. And secondly, 33% means a third of all our country. Where is the government going to find this kind of land? Who is going to agree to move their factories or homes? The last time the government tried to convert non-forest land to forest land, they only managed to get a quarter of the land they wanted. Only a sliver of that was eventually converted. Plus, funds are misused. But these are not even the worst parts. When forest officials are under pressure to hit their targets, they burn everything down and say their work was lost in forest fires. This destroys the land almost irreversibly. So, what's the solution? Well, for starters, we probably shouldn't have promised the world something we couldn't deliver. But now that this milk has been spilled, we need to come up with a better execution plan. One we don't seem to have yet.